Good morning, everyone. This is one of my favorite places in Thailand. Can you feel the breeze? Can you hear those birds singing? It is Sunday. It is a beautiful morning. This place is so peaceful. Always a treat to be able to come up here. That behind me is Mont Jam, and that's been in a few of my videos. And this hall right here, this area is called Bong Krai. So this is Wat Bong Khai, in case you wanted to visit. It's a great place to kind of segue your trip from Mont Jam back down to Chiang Mai, visiting uh, Samung, by the way, next district. Anyways, just taking a few moments to enjoy the beautiful morning air. It is so clean, so clear up here. So up here, just wanting to take a chance. Yeah, just to get a few deep breaths of the gloriously fresh air up here in the hills. We are west of the town of Chiang Mai, but we are still in Chiang Mai province. If you look up here, look around me, you can see there's the peak of Mont Jam. And over there, you can see some greenhouse plastic coverings. Uh, in this area, all of the flowers, a lot of the organic produce that we are able to buy in Thailand, it is grown in this area. So today, kind of just passing through, but still appreciating this natural produce. It's just awesome. Okay, no matter where you are in Thailand, as soon as it's past 8, 9 a.m., if you are out in the bright sun, the temperature can go up, in this case, wonderfully fast. And so I'm just trying to feel a little bit like Superman here, getting power, getting my energy from the warmth of the sun, and it is working. We are gonna climb back up to the top and then all the way back down to Chiang Mai. Kun Piriya at 29 Koftis. We're coming to find you right now. Surprise, we're not there yet because coming down the hill, I saw one of my favorite flowers. Check these out. It was worth it. I just wanted to show you these flowers too. What a cool name, what a beautiful flower, right? And another wonderful thing that you might remember after a trip you may or may not have taken to Southeast Asia. It's so pretty, right? Firecracker vine. Oh, and it just smells so wonderful right here. I don't know what actually is giving off the aroma. No, it's not in the flower. But it would be cool if firecracker flower also has a wonderful flower smell too, right? Hey everyone, good morning. We are in Santitam, and this is one of the neighborhoods that is the most fun, the place that I had always stayed when I was a tourist to Chiang Mai for all the years staying in hostels, staying in hotels, my favorite corner of Chiang Mai, right next to the old town. This is a place I wanna to introduce to you, a place I wanna recommend when you visit Chiang Mai. We are gonna be able to learn more about our friend Pinong, her idea to open a shop that is extremely affordable, but also so healthy, so full of vegetarian and vegan options. But anyways, today I just want to tell you about something from my own personal life. I make a lot of videos, me traveling, kind of trying to find the special food of that area. But in my own life, this is the kind of thing that I want to have for breakfast. Everyone just make like, um, what's it called? Just like, um decoration like put on the line like uh, there's some like kind, different kind of seed but for me just put the message like topping like as much as I can and you can get like a very nice healthy some stuff awesome yeah red should darken it's not the season the purple they look really colorful you know when you mm -hmm, yeah so I'm gonna make you guys
guys like the two bowls today, different ones. Mm -hmm. Banana, oats, peanut butter, that one is very filling. Mm -hmm. And the other one just like a strawberry, oat, cacao, that one a little bit light. So, if you remember from one of the first videos on this channel, Lee and I were hanging out with Pinong when she was just trying to perfect her smoothie recipes. I can hear she's making a smoothie right now. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna order, but I just wanna remind you, she has a new location. So it's the same sign, the same label on the restaurant, same delicious things, same super low price for all this healthy food, but it's a new location. So this is my first time being here. So I can't wait to see what, what new things on the menu she has for this location. Let's go inside. I closed the shop today, like not many like colorful fruit. <laughs> So I ordered first. Strawberry oat cacao. Cool. What a combination. Strawberry oat cacao. And so something here too. In okay. The secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This first of all, I mean, just look at that. One of the things of these smoothie bowls, they just look amazing. There are such a wide array of colorful ingredients and it smells awesome too. It's just like health, I mean, could could healthy eating get any more beautiful? And that is exactly what you want. I, I of course, it's a personal thing of mine to encourage everyone to eat as healthy as they can, but still have fun and enjoy their food. Get excited about food. And I mean, when food looks this delicious, how can you not be excited? By the way, how cool. She's using also local handicraft items. This is bamboo and this is a huge gourd. This is so cool. Okay, you know what? I'm actually salivating looking at that. There is chocolate, some parsley garnished here. There is dragon fruit, papaya, black sesame. Also a nice accent with that black sesame there. You have fresh strawberries, you have kiwi, and then I see cashews on the inside. Doesn't stop there. The oat, what else was it? Cacao. So Chiang Mai also grows chocolate. They grow a lot of fruit. It's like just such a beautiful and tasty. Yeah, I mean, okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Mm, you can smell the peanut butter, smell the cacao. Okay, at first it's like, it's like the texture of ice cream. So inside it's a cold smoothie. So there was some ice in the smoothie also. Oats, perfect health, just a health bomb. I mean, in this case for me, a perfect cycling recovery meal as well. 
Mm. And then for the texture, mm. crunching on sunflower seeds, on pumpkin seeds, on cashew also. This is incredible. Like for the value, you cannot beat this, literally. You can have smoothie bowls many places in Chiang Mai, but they are, none of them are even close to as cheap as this one. And it's so huge too, look. You could get full just from this one order. And I also want to taste her smoothies, so let's wait to see what smoothie recipes she's working on next. This is so great, so awesome to visit 29 Kofti's in the new location for the first time today. Awesome. Any mm. I just make your own. I just make my own How style. How beautiful. Get, try it and okay. guess like what is inside. Oh, okay. But you know, beautiful. mainly it would be the mango. You ask okay. me mm -hmm. and something else. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I just asked for something with mango and let her have fun continue. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of uh, practice to make things this beautiful with uh, you know, also using healthy ingredients. A lot of places can can kind of cheat and put put things that actually are not so healthy into your smoothie or your fruit shake, but she uses all ingredients that she is proud to put into her food, and that's a really important reason why you want to visit places like this. So, I can definitely smell the passion fruit, but I can see it on top, so. Okay, super creamy. That is awesome. Can I guess? Is it banana? Did you add no, banana. banana? Mango? <laughs> yeah, that's so creamy. It's so soothing. Yeah, after after a hard bike ride on any day of the week. Honestly, this is just delicious. So, coconut milk? Yes. Mango? Yes. Passion fruit? Yes. I can't guess. I can't guess from there. <laughs> is it just a, is a it little a fruit? bit of honey. Oh, okay. That's it. Oh, I guess I can smell it. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Mm. Just going to have a little smell. I can smell it. Okay. Yes, but like uh, mainly the sweet is for mango because all yeah. everything is smoothie or smoothie yeah. bowl. I don't use any sugar. That, okay. That's no amazing. Sugar. That's perfect. Yes. But like sometimes they can ask for like yeah. honey or maple syrup. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the thing That's with the awesome. yogurt, I have to put a little bit sweet, oh. like uh, the, some kind of milk. Yeah, yeah. Or like if they ask for soy milk, that's uh, a little bit sweet as, yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah. 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 But maybe it's Yeah. Okay, right there you have it. Most places, whether or not you know this, anytime you order a smoothie, you can you can just assume they're gonna be adding sugar. That is a huge thing. She does not add any sugar to any of the recipes. That's so cool. Man. Loving the texture in this one. Mm. Okay, Lee, you gotta try this one. Actually, mm, that is so good. This one is so good. Hello, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look amazing. And it's pretty, yeah, it's so. So you can see the texture, just looking through the side of the cup. It's so, yeah, it's just so fun when the food is bright, vibrant, it's attractive to eat, and the flavor is just so good. Okay, the second smoothie bowl. So we got two, wanted to have two different versions of whatever she had today. And she works with a lot of fresh ingredients, so I just said, leave it up to her which one she's gonna make. So, Right off the bat, you can see a few different ingredients across the top. Goji berries, also called wolf berries, peanut butter, avocado, awesome. And then again, the beautiful arrangement of the colors, a full rainbow on top. Let's see what's underneath, okay. And when the other one had cacao, this one, see if I can smell this one, I'm gonna guess, maybe avocado or banana, you can see the, you can just see the creaminess in that one. Okay, I smell peanut butter. I don't know if there's peanut butter on top and in the smoothie recipe, but remember the idea of the dish is it's an entire smoothie in the bottom of the bowl and then fresh ingredients all arranged on top of it. So it is a 
huge volume of food, but it's all healthy. Love, love this con this concept, really. Mm. Wow, I love I love the cacao in that one, but I think I like this one even better. There's like a richness. It must be avocado in the smoothie as well. The creamy richness is incredible. Mm. Oh yeah. And I really wonder, like, the prices are so good. I really wonder if you could make a smoothie bowl like this for yourself at home. I doubt you could beat the price. It's just incredible how many different ingredients, like at least a dozen things went into this smoothie bowl. It's just so, it's just fun to eat at the end of the day. Even if you don't care all the ingredients, where they come from, it's just so pretty. It's awesome, just what a genius concept. Whoever came up with this, genius. I could eat these every single day. Mm. Okay, around the edge. I love knowing that avocado comes from the hills right up there. Buttery avocado, but nice and firm. I like it like that. And then, one of my personal favorite fruits, the dragon fruit. Nice little scoops. And if you've ever had dragon fruit, you'll appreciate it. Tiny little crunches of all the little seeds that are in dragon fruit. It's almost like the size of strawberry seeds, but a little bit more substance to them. A little bit more crunchy than you have the fresh papaya. Also local. And this one for a cheat day. Gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she knows the type of customers who come in here. They are many of them are athletes. This, this is still. This is still, of course, much better than going and having a highly processed food, maybe at a convenience store. I'm still happy to have this. But you can see the health might not be the main focus of this one. So I've got whipped cream, coconut, sorry, chocolate sauce, and then definitely some cacao in there. It's a frozen, frozen smoothie, right? And then peanut butter in the smoothie. Not, not, not sweet. Mm, yeah, oh yeah, not sweet at all. You can taste the cacao powder immediately. Mm. Oh yeah, and it's just so pretty. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I could easily visit your shop every day if I lived here. Wow. I'm looking forward to the next time already. The smoothie bowls are incredible. You have done so well practicing. I mean, they're just beautiful. And that's one of the things that will attract people to eating a more healthy diet, which yeah. is so important right now, especially during the time of COVID when people are staying indoors more than ever. Diet is so important for a healthy mindset, also keeping your psychological health as, uh, as in a good state as you can. Something like this, it's just so fun. You can definitely try to make this at home, but when you're in Chiang Mai, leave it up to Pinong, come visit her and have these amazingly, amazingly pretty, but yeah, so healthy, tasty, and so affordable. Smoothie bowls, this genius recipe. Pinong, can you tell me about the, the space behind us? All right, so. This is amazing, check this. Yeah, actually we have like a, the three table and uh, like the one high table there. And uh, when the cyclists came, so I don't have any like a bicycle stand, mm -hmm. and some people they park just the other side of the road, but I don't want their bikes damaged, you know? So awesome. just clear the space for them, and the bicycle stand will come in soon. Genius. Oh, yeah, you have coffee too. Uh, soon. Are you yes. Mm -hmm. okay. But not today, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's, she's working on her new food recipe. She's also going to be making coffee coming soon. Check this out. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta appreciate the Wi-Fi password. Crazy cyclist. Okay, so she has a lot of experience from working at previously another restaurant that cared a lot about health. And she's bringing it now to her own ideas and her own mission 
in a, in a small scale, in a great way, bringing it to this community around here. So by the way, about cycling, how far is the famous kind of cyclist hotel? which there is, is this in Chiang Mai? <laughs> Just a hundred meters from here, <laughs> a few hundred meters from here. It should come as no surprise that these are quite the trend, quite the craze right now. I mean, it is just for, for photos of dishes, in a single photo, how could you get a more appetizing dish than that smoothie bowl? joking she was saying this is the least healthy one on the whole menu but still there's no added sugar and it's uh, real cacao powder and then just oats and ice and then some milk oh yeah milk that's also so I'm gonna tell you honestly I think I just had like a healthy food challenge just now that was so filling but I feel so good I mean I might not be ready to race on the bicycle right now, but I am full of great food. So, one more bite. I love how sweet it is without any added sugar. It's so good, and this one smells great too. And the strawberries, you can smell and taste the strawberries. So, besides all the amazing work that she's doing in the kitchen, where did this come from? Like the same one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, <clears> the <throat> one she just uh, brought to me about three cars different. Oh, okay. And I'm, I tried just uh, with the coffee, but I have to flavor this one and the other one in the fridge. So, I just need you to try this one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, a in-house produced beverage. So, Pinong has a friend who is also very, very into wholesome recipes and homemade type of recipes, right? So this uses turmeric and ginger and it's like just a blast of health. I'm sure it tastes good too. I'm reading the ingredients right now. Heavy, wow, heavy on the, the herbs, the healthy herbs. Also orange and lemon. Can smell the ginger straight away. That's awesome. So do not shake. Huh. Wow. Okay. That is not sweet. That is, it's delicious though. The, the turmeric, the aftertaste is full turmeric, but the first thing you can taste is the ginger and then pepper. Is there pepper in there? It's like pepper. Yeah, that, you can sense the health in that one. So wild ginger, uh, turmeric, regular ginger, is it galangal or not? Okay, so all, all herbs that are in traditional Thai food, specifically soups and the curry paste, basically the root of health, well they are roots, they're rhizomes, like the root of the health in traditional Thai food. In a drink version that is delicious. Okay, you can have all stuff like this and more. Visit 29 Coffees whenever you get the chance. It has been great hanging out with Pinot. And you know, one of my favorite people in this whole country. <laughs> this is how I met Pinong, Peter, one of, one of the very special people in Peter's life, Pinong. So that's how I've been blessed with this relationship. Anyways, get stoked on healthy food and have a great day. I hope you have loved learning more about all the ways to make your life more fun when you're trying to eat healthy food. And honestly, this, even regardless of the health, this is delicious and so fun. So fun being here. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day today. See you for the next one. Peace.